This ice is lit pretty cool looking. Um, both literally and figuratively. <laughs> I would venture to say all ice is cool looking. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn. I'm a little guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to head to Azil. Azil? Azil? I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's probably pretty close. Before we do that, though, um, we're going to do one or two things here inside of the base. So let's hop on in here. Uh, what I would like to do is I'd like to build a, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the better dome thing, uh, the Z-Shield. Uh, so this requires zirconium plate, zirconium circuit board, batteries, wires, rubber, cubic zirconium. I have all of that stuff except for the circuit board, um, but I should have everything I need to make the circuit board. So what do we need? Plastic, gold, zirconia, and lithium. I'm not sure why I'm crouched. Okay, so we need um, plastic, uh, zirconium, Gold. I'm really low on gold and lithium. Is that everything that we need for that? Yep, sure enough. Okay, so let's make one zirconium circuit board. And uh, then what do we need for the actual uh, shield itself? So we need aluminum zirconium plate, circuit board, battery wire rubber, and cubic zirconia itself. Okay, so let's grab the plate there. And we need, um, uh, we need wires, we need batteries, I'm just going to grab everything for the moment. We need plates, and uh, a couple of the ingots too. Let's look at it one more time. Sorry, I, don't, I have a terrible short-term memory. Too, too much of the, of the green stuff back in the day. <laughs> Though I, I haven't done that in over 30 years, but anyway, uh, I digress. Two aluminums and two rubbers. Okay, so let's grab the rubber and grab the aluminums. And uh, that should give us everything we need to make it. Everything's green. Okay, let's go outside. And I think this dome is a little larger than the basic dome. I think. Could be wrong about that. But let's. we're going to find out here real quick, aren't we? Okay, so let's go ahead and get out our... Uh, this guy here. And we want to dismantle that. Okay, now we want to go into here, grab the Z shield, and put it pretty much in the same spot as the other one. Does it matter what direction this goes? I don't think it does. I think it's the same on all sides. All right, here we go. Okay, um, and now let's go ahead and turn it on and see what's what. Yeah, it does. Yep, it is bigger. Okay, cool. It is bigger. Nice. So now everything... Ooh, I wonder if that's going to be a problem for the droid. I mean, tech... Yeah, we might need to move this out. Not that he's put anything in it yet. I'm talking about the mining droid, of course. Uh, I did go check on him, and he's he is getting ores, uh, but he's not anywhere close to being full yet. Okay, cool. So yeah, this, this dome actually does provide more room. Um, so... The other one kind of came right to the edge of here. So basically this dome adds um, another, I'd say, what, 10 feet maybe? 10, 15 feet uh, to the diameter of this circle, which is pretty nice. I don't know if it's any stronger either, but I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think the shield has any limitations. I mean, it just works. So, all right. Nifty. Nifty, nifty. Yeah, it was, it was just coming around the, the corner here too. And kind of right at the edge of this door. So there's been a couple times when I've come out the door and got nipped by a bug uh, because, you know, it was so close to the edge. So I like this. This is great. It was a good call. It was a good call. Okay. Let's put some stuff away and then we're going to head on up to... I'm just going to call it Aziel until you guys let me know otherwise. Um, oh, there is one other thing we're going to do as well. Um, so let me get all this stuff put away here. And all this stuff can go in here. Um, I have quite the collection of crab meat now. And where did I get that bear? Oh, I took apart a, a satellite right before I started the 
Uh, no, not replace. I just want to. I want to carry like a couple of these in my inventory just in case I need them for the flashlight or whatever. Not that I really have had to do that. Um. Uh, so what I want to do is I've got a whole mess of crab meat, and you know I'm starting to run out of space in here. Uh, we've got a ton of veggies. We've got a ton of crab meat. There's just no reason under God's green earth, or in the case of Proteus brown earth, uh, moon, whatever, that we shouldn't just make a whole shitload of crab stew. Uh, so that is exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to grab all this crab meat. We're going to grab a stack of potatoes. We're going to grab a stack of carrots. Come over here. And we are going to make the best food in the game. Um, 44 of them, as a matter of fact. Now... Uh, I was looking at some of these other things. The Oryx soup provides the best... No, the Tumbo soup. The Tumbo soup provides the best quench bonus, but I don't even know what a Tumbo is. Uh, as far as I know, I have not come across a Tumbo. <laughs> so I'm not sure what that is, but... Because uh, I, I was looking, I said, well, what kind of food can I make that's going to give me really good quench as well as really good food? And this is the best for that purpose. Uh, the crab stew only gives 15 quench bonus, but it it is the best food overall because it gives the most nutrition and it's got the strength boost buff. Um, does Do any of the rest of these have a buff associated with them? I don't think they do. Let's just look really quick. The carrot soup is, or, or the steamed carrots is probably the best food, best cheap food to make because you can just make a ton of it and just spam it. Uh, okay, so this has a 20 quench bonus, which isn't too bad. And as does this, but I've never, I don't know what an orsec is or, yeah, orsec, I guess. And I've never come across a crab egg either. So maybe that stuff isn't currently implemented. But anyway, we will have 44 crab stews to eat at our leisure uh, when it's ready. Uh, but we're not going to wait for that now. Um, because I have, I still have, a, you know, a decent supply of meat stew and a few more steamed carrots left as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and top off our water. We're going to go over here and get our agility and stamina buffs and do a save point. And then let's take off. Aziel or bust. Oh, I am going to move this, though, um, outside of the thing so the, the droid can... Presumably, still use it. Okay, so let's just put that on the other side of this stone here. Utility. Uh, up here and depository. All right, awesome. Um, okay, so let's look in here for a second. I'm going to drop that stuff because don't need it anymore and I'm gonna stick the barrel in here gotta drop that thing first and I think we're good to go let's put the the sniper rifle back there I made a few more uh, sniper bolt rounds for when we're on uh, Aziel uh, inside of our spaceship we have uh, a bunch of extra waters because that's what you know basically cut me short last time uh, I made a new inflatable dome kit. I still don't know why it's partially damaged. That doesn't make much sense. Because the other one was like all the way damaged and I didn't want it to all of a sudden break. Uh, but the idea is when we get up there, I'm going to just carry this around with me. And when we start getting low on oxygen, we just have to pop it down, go inside, and it'll completely fill us up. I'll probably take some tanks too, just as an added precaution. And then on my own character, I have... Um, I've, I've placed the heat sink again to help keep us warm. Okay, so let's hop in our ship here. Now, I did go to uh, Aziel on uh, the live stream that I did last Saturday, but I haven't gone to it uh, on the actual YouTube Let's Play yet until now. Space to exit planet. And then there's Aziel right there, right in front of us. Okay, so let's point towards it. Whoop. And, oh, I guess I... Already exited the planet. I don't think I hit space, but maybe I did. Okay. We'll go down on the day side. I don't know how much that matters, though, because these play areas are all really just kind of one spot anyway. So when we enter um, Aziel, we get the, you know, the fiery entry like we do with Proteus, but you don't get that 
with um, a L L Latari. Yeah, Latari. And I wonder if it's just because Latari has a thinner atmosphere, maybe? I mean, that would be the the reason, I suppose. Okay, so I haven't spent enough time in this place to, to actually know where to go exactly. So I think we're just going to set down uh, here. I am trying to throttle down here, but it's... Uh, <laughs> I wish the ship would not pop back up in the air like that. Um, it's... It's a little bit irritating, to be honest with you. Not a big deal, I guess, but a little bit irritating. Okay, let's turn around this way. Just so we're not parked right on the edge of the hill. And then uh, we'll just land right about in this area. So, we need obsidian, cobalt, and tungsten, if it even exists. I'm not sure if it exists or not. If you... Oh, don't go on it. Here, I don't want to land right there if we get um if you guys left me a comment after episode 11 i think it was about tungsten i haven't seen it yet so but we need tungsten to make several things and so i'm hoping we can find it because otherwise we can't make those things that's a little bit all right, so let's go ahead and grab our stuff. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab that. And we'll grab uh, half of our waters and take those with us. Uh, we also actually need to eat, too. So let's chow down on some of that and some of that. And we are in pretty good shape. Okay. So uh, name of the game here is uh, Cobalt. Tungsten and Obsidian. So let's start looking around and see if we can find that. I'm not sure if there are hostile creatures on Azula or not. I know there's those kind of weird looking cattle things, but they are not hostile. They'll just, they're passive, so they'll run from you. Not a whole lot of features to look at in this particular area. Proteus looks pretty neat off in the distance there. Oh. We we have breathable atmosphere on this planet. I didn't even notice that until just now. Okay, well, I guess we don't need to worry about O2 then. This ice is lit pretty cool looking. Um, both literally and figuratively. <laughs> I would venture to say all ice is cool looking. Hmm, is that stuff... Like going off into no man's land? Oh. Aye, come on. That wasn't that far of a drop. Stupid game. Okay, let's go over here. At some point, we're, wanna gonna, we're not going to want to get too terribly far away from our ship. No, that's... Uh, that seems to be... Still in the main playfield area. There's some lava down there. And I am not seeing anything, though, up on these shelves that we're on. Okay, well, that's that's to the west. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to walk back to the ship, and then we're going to kind of fly over that way. So I will uh, meet you guys when we get over there. All right, guys. So I didn't find anything at all, like nothing, <laughs> on the way back to the ship. Um, so, yeah, it appears like these shelves don't really have a whole lot of anything on them. Um... Just trying to see if there's anything interesting from the air in these pillars. I guess we could we could set down and look really quick. That might be a note over by the lava, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's go over by this little lava pool thing. These pillars are kind of cool looking. Oh yeah, there is there are nodes of something over there. And some kind of a POI. This kind of looks like the area that I landed in 
on the live stream, but I can't couldn't say for sure because I think this is all just lithium. Yeah, it is. We we don't need lithium. We have plenty of lithium, so I'm not even going to bother bringing that back with us. Okay. Um, I think it's like really hot here, so let's kind of glide across the lava, but we'll not stand on top of it. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is where we were during the live stream. Cause I remember this little structure being right on the edge of the lava lake. Okay. Uh, let's go, let's go look kind of around over here. I could see where the, the glider, there, there's an attachment, a glider attachment that you can put on your. Uh, your boots. I can see where that something like that could be very useful for getting around on this kind of a planet. Okay, there is something over here. Ah. Some kind of node. Extremely low temperature. Oh, that's what's hitting us. Oh, wow. And we even have our heat sink thing on too. Interesting. Okay, yeah. So we got something over here. Let's go check it out. Don't know what it is. Rich aluminum. You know, we don't need aluminum either. We just really don't. Got plenty of it. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. All right. Well, let's go ahead and make our way back to the ship. Um, I'm going to kind of go around this way, though, and keep my eyes peeled for more potential deposits. If I come across a deposit that is one of the three that we're looking for, uh, I'll bring you guys back. Otherwise, um, I'm going to hop in the ship and keep looking around, and I'll bring you back with an update at some point. Here are the cattle things I was talking about for those of you who may not have seen them yet. They are very unusual looking. Uh, but they're not hostile, and uh, if you attack them, they'll just run away. Really strange, though. <laughs> Do they even have, like, eyes and a mouth? Oh, suit breach? What? I must have run into one of their spikes or something. Yeah, really weird, man. We got some No Man's vibes going on here. They just give you, like, normal alien meat when you shoot them, so... We'll let them live, because we don't really need any alien meat right at the moment. Um, excuse me, sir, pardon me. Alright, I'm starting to think that... Oh, 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 we just flew by a whole bunch of purple. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm starting to think that these... This little kind of shelf area is actually the No Man's Land area, but... I don't know. I just saw a whole mess of purple dots just pass by on this on the map. Yeah, see them all down there? Alright, let's go check out this and see what it is. Okay, so what do we have here? A rich iron deposit. Alright. Not what we need. I have a feeling like all of this is just iron then. Okay, come on. Hover hover thing my doodle. Yeah, shoot. Looks like this all of this is iron. Dang it. Alright. We need obsidian, man. We need cobalt. And we need uh what is it called? Oh, that sounded like a monster. There is. There's a parasite up there. Huh. Yep, and there's a... There's a Skeliopod guy. That's not a monster hit me, is it? No, it's just the cold. Yeah, it looks like all of this is iron. 
I mean, I bet you could get a lot of iron from it, but we don't really need a lot of iron right now. We're in pretty darn good shape as it is. All things considered. Can those guys go in the lava? Let's um let's eat a meat stew. Ugh. And that'll give us our health back plus some food and a little, little bit of hydration. Okay, well, um I guess we keep looking then. Let's bring out our Oh, that was a monster. You son of a you can never tell if it's a monster or the temperature. It's messing with us. Okay, let's pull this guy out. So yeah, it's showing all the iron there. And I'm pretty sure that all of this is iron. Rich iron, rich iron, rich iron. Okay. Well, we keep on looking then. Okay, we're in another place with some more pillars and lava. Let's go ahead and land here. I haven't seen any purple dots, but let's land and just see if we can uh, find anything. There's a bunch of white dots, which usually means salvage. There's supposed to be a white dot right here. Here. Do we have to go up this mountain? Ah. There, we need to crouch. Let's go into third person view too. Oh man, this is steep. Yeah, steeper than I thought it was. Let's put our ah. light on. Is that? A resource, or is that just a rock? Oh, it's copper. Okay. No, we don't need copper. We do not need copper. It seems like all of the nodes that are on this moon are rich, though. Okay. Let's go this way. The white dot is right across here oh so the why is the copper showing up as white isn't it supposed to be purple I'm so confused huh yeah I don't know I thought uh, I thought that was all supposed to be purple but anyway this is uh, apparently copper and we do not need copper really hard to see Okay, well, I guess that means we need to keep our eye open for, for white dots as well as purple dots. Serious dehydration detected. Serious? Okay, well, should we go down this way? I think we should check it out. Keep our scanner out, look for, for blips, purple or white, I guess. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. Okay, let's crouch so we don't hurt ourselves coming down this one. At some point, we should be able to start warming up. Being close to the lava. Okay, so the temperature is actually good for us right here. So this is kind of like, I guess, a lava river, right? Huh. Okay, let's run along this way a, a bit. Uh. 
We don't want to fall down in the lava. Okay. Well, I'm not I'm not seeing anything. So, um let's go ahead and head back. And I guess I guess the thing to do is keep flying around until we just see more you know, more dots. Uh, I am going to run over here a little bit though. You know, as realistic as it may be, one thing I can tell you right now that I don't like about this planet, besides the cold, is it's really hard to see. I don't know if that ever clears up or not on this moon. Right now it says it's hazy oh. out, but it, it's more like a bit of a windstorm kind of thing going on. So it looks like the lava river branches off and goes that way and that way. So far I haven't found any more nodes. Okay, we have some more white dots over this way. Uh, looks like they're all down below. Let's see what this is. Gold. Oh, you know what? I'm going to actually grab this because we're we're kind of low on gold. So, yeah, let's um let's drink and eat. Okay, we're at full health. And we're going to grab this, and we're going to mine up some of this gold because I need it. Oh, look at that. Our favorites. Huh. Okay, we are back at the ship. Hop on in here and warm up. Um, we're gonna need to get the other water out, but I got um uh, two almost yeah about two and two thirds of a stack of gold, which isn't too bad. Wish we could access our inventory while we were sitting in the ship, but I don't think we can. So let's go ahead and get in here. I'm gonna put that stuff in there. That we're gonna drop this and uh, put that in there, and then let's grab these waters. Okay, well, um, I guess I'm just gonna keep flying around and keep looking for dots on the map, and I'll bring you back with an update here pretty soon. Ah, look what we just found. Nickel. I forgot we needed nickel, too. Okay. Let's grab it. Yeah, we need nickel. We need uh, tungsten, cobalt, and obsidian. All right, guys. I believe I got all the nickel in the immediate vicinity. We ended up with two stacks and then 13 more. Uh, you don't really get a lot uh, from the rich nodes. Um, it's like one per hit almost. So uh, I grabbed everything that I can see in the vicinity. I do see a purple uh, dot on the horizon up there and, and actually a bunch more white dots too, but that's probably everything. Um, let's do this. Let's go uh, everything in that direction is what I was trying to say there. Let's go out a little closer. Okay, actually, it looks like there might be some more nickel down here. We might as well grab all of it since, A, I don't like this place. I don't necessarily want to come back here in this playthrough if we don't have to. Uh, it's kind of a very hostile environment. And B, um, 
you know, if if we're close close enough to some of that stuff, we might just go get it without getting the ship, but probably not. So let's grab this nickel here. Yeah, see, we're pretty much just getting one per hit, and these are rich nodes, too. Okay, let's grab our scanner thingamadoodle again. Okay, so yeah, I think everything else is going to be uh, further away than we probably want to walk. I'm going to go kind of over into this other canyon. I have a feeling, though, we're not going to find anything if we don't have, like, topography. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. There's purple and white in this area. Yeah, I see stuff down there. Let's take a look here. Okay, there's two purple things over this way. So let's check those out first before we go down. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it. There's one up here. Let's get this one first. Goodness gracious sakes a lot. It's probably right up on the top of this ledge here. You have to kind of zig and zag to get up these if they're really steep. There we go. Oh, oh this is just a normal mineral deposit? Oh, man. So, but I could have sworn I saw we saw purple nodes earlier that were pure iron. Let's just double check. There's one off this way. Yeah, it's right down there on that shelf. There's a couple. Yeah, it's just a, a rich mineral deposit. Okay, this one probably is too. Mineral outcropping. I mean, I wouldn't mind these if they gave the more rare ores, but it doesn't look like they do. It looks like they just give the same old, same old. Okay, well, I'm not going to go after any more of the purple ones then. Well, let's go back over to where these white ones are. I mean, since this is here, I guess we'll grab it, but... See, let's walk around here. I try to walk, but sometimes it just takes too damn long, you know? <laughs> okay, so let's go. Can we get around? Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff over that way. That's aluminum. Okay, we don't need it. Assuming then all the rest of these are going to be then too. Yep, aluminum, aluminum, and aluminum. Okay, not what we need, guys, not what we need. So let's head on back to the ship and keep looking around. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I am back also on Lutari. I pretty much spent way more time than I would have liked to on um, Aziel, and I essentially swept the whole the whole entire place um i basically just flew north to south and then switched about five five degrees or so and worked my way from west to east and covered the whole planet and and i only found the only um what we'll call a rare mineral mineral that i found there was nickel and guess what it's also here on lutari um so um 
We still we still need cobalt and we still need obsidian in particular, well and tungsten too, in order to do, you know, everything that I, I have left to, that I want to do in this playthrough. Um so yeah, we're just gonna I'm gonna kinda do the same thing here on Lutari because I haven't I haven't um you know swept the entire place like I did on Aziel. Um and you know, hopefully we'll come across obsidian and cobalt and tungsten. Um we need we need cobalt and obsidian, I believe, in a, uh, in order to make the cobalt version of the rifle and the pistol, which I guess has better durability. Um, and we need the tungsten to make uh, one or two of the ammos that I wanted to, to try out. So, um, so what I'm going to do, yeah, is just kind of go through and, uh, you know, mine stuff here looking for uh, cobalt and obsidian in particular, but um, I'm going to kind of grab some of this other stuff too, because why the hell not, right? And uh, yeah, a Aziel, oh man, I spent so much time there um, getting, you know, looking for that stuff. And I, you know, I found a whole lot of deposits of other things. Um, it kind of pisses me off a little bit. <laughs> There's nickel right here that is so much easier to get on Latari than it is on Aziel, but it is what it is, right? Um, so, uh, I found one more thing of diamond, too, right before I started the camera. So, we have uh, 30 more diamond there. And, uh, so, rich mineral. This is going to be a zirconium. We don't really need any more of this, I don't think. But, well, what the hell? We'll grab it. We'll grab it. Um, I wanted to say something else, too. Lead. Yeah, okay. Um, the, uh, the uh, Osiris assistant droid, the little rounded guy. He actually repaired my biodome. Um, when I was, when I was, I don't need carbon. Definitely don't need carbon. When I was doing the, um, when I was editing that video, I noticed that uh, at one point he looked like he was, you know, I saw sparks coming out of him like he was repairing something. I thought that was interesting. Um, and so, you know, when I got back on and checked the biodome, it was like completely repaired. Because remember, if you guys have been following all along, you know that I haven't been able to repair the biodome. So he does actually work. He just, but he wasn't able to, you know, go inside the shield. But apparently he, you know, he could reach the, uh, reach it from, you know, out there. What are, what's the matter? Are we hungry? I think we're hungry. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab a uh, crab stew. So yeah, he does work after all. He's just, he's still, I mean, he doesn't work the way he's supposed to. Like, for example, he couldn't turn or anything, but he does at least repair stuff. So that all of a sudden makes him uh, quite a bit more useful. Okay, so uh, let's hop in the ship here. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to fly around and um, look for a cobalt and obsidian. And when I find some, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, we finally found obsidian. Basically, it looks like a diamond node, but black instead of glassy, clear glass looking. So we got uh, that one knocked out. Now we just need to find cobalt and tungsten, if it's even available. I, I thought I heard a comment, not on one of my videos, but on somebody else's video I was watching, that tungsten's not even in this build, uh, in the, per the current stable branch. I don't know if that's true or not, but... Um, if it is, then, you know, that's going to stop us from doing a couple things that we need to do. Uh, but at least we found the obsidian, so that's good. Um, yeah, see, this is all just normal stuff. What's this? Rich mineral deposit? Okay. So we know obsidian looks like diamond. It's kind of more of a, a cone shape. Um, and it's also uh, black. <clears throat> So let's go look at this little batch over here. Rich iron, gold, nickel, which we have plenty of now. Iron. Rich nickel. And okay, that just goes out into no man's land there. Okay, I'm not going to grab any of this stuff. We don't need it. We have plenty. Plenty, plenty. We can always come back and get more later, too, if we decide it's warranted. Uh, there's another patch 
uh, in front of the ship, too, that we'll go take a look at. Okay, that's carbon, that's lead. Those are just rich deposits. So I don't think we're going to find any cobalt in this little group here. That's zirconium, which we have plenty of. Okay, well, I'll keep looking. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I have some bad news for everybody, and that bad news is that I don't think there's any cobalt or any uh, tungsten on Lutari. Um, I found a bunch of diamond. I mean a bunch of diamond, to the point where I am now willing to make the ammo that you can use diamond for. <laughs> um, and I found a bunch of obsidian. And, you know, then all the usual stuff too, but there is just no sign of cobalt or tungsten on either Lutari or um, Aziel. And I, I have spent hours of real time combing both of these uh, play fields, both of these uh, moons, I guess, looking for this stuff. I mean, to the point where I'm honestly a little bit salty about it just because it wasted so much time in real life. And the thing is, is it's not, you know, because this you can't look stuff like that up because all the information or, or the vast majority of the information on the game is old. It's like, you know, two, three years old, outdated. And so, um, you know, it's not like I can just look it up on a wiki somewhere because it's just, you know, everything has changed so much. I've even perused the, um, uh, you know, Phoenix Fire's roadmap for the game and trying to find some kind of a clue as to, you know, if those ores are still around or what the deal is with them. Um, I believe planet Zur, which is a volcanic planet is also not in the game at present, uh, because, you know, because I can't see it. Um, when, you know, when I'm up in space, uh, the only, the only two planets that I can see are, or our moons rather are Lutari and Aziel. Okay. So, um, you know, it is what it is, but what that means is it pretty much limits um, any more progression that we can do in the game. We're getting to the point where I think we're just about done. You know, I mean, what else What else is there to do kind of thing? Um, look, jeez, Louise, look at all the diamonds I got. That's just crazy. Um, I got that many diamonds. I've got two and a half, a little over two and a half stacks of obsidian. Um, so... I think what we're going to do is I'm going to, um, by the way, in terms of diamonds, if you look in my mini map in the upper right hand corner, you'll see two light blue dots that, that represents diamonds. Um, so if you, if you're playing this game yourself, just come to Latari, fly around, look for the light blue dots and you're golden. Um, one thing that I'm a little confused about is the colors, you know, that you do see. They don't seem to be real consistent. For example, Usually when you see a purple dot, it means a mineral outcropping or a rich mineral node. In other words, you know, the ones that have all the, uh, you know, a mix of stuff in them. But that's not true across the board, uh, uh, particularly for iron. I've seen iron nodes that are also purple and I've seen outcroppings um, and such that are white and purple. It, so it's really inconsistent. So you can't really go by the color. Um, zirconium seems to be brown and that seems to be fairly consistent carbon and um and obsidian are black from what i've been able to tell and that's relatively consistent too but anyway um this is pretty much my final pass here on lutari i've, I've basically worked my way from west to east going north and south you know looking for cobalt and i have not found it so those are all purple down there so unless cobalt is also purple um it's not there, and trust me, I have checked almost every single batch of ore, purple or not, and I'm just, you know, just not seeing it. So, yeah, there's some black here, but that's probably, uh, there's some gray. I think the gray is lead. We'll take one last look just for the hell of it. So, I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to go, you know, back to Proteus, and then... Um, I'm planning at least one more episode... And we're going to make the diamond ammo and test that out. Um, I never made uh, the other vehicles, the rover, 
uh, the GAV and the hover bike. So I think we'll make those just to say that we did and try them out just for fun. And then, you know, after that, I don't know that there's going to be a whole lot more for us to do in in this version of the game. Now, I have heard uh, one of you guys were telling me in the comments, and, and I also noticed this um, by reading some of the forums uh, for experimental, that you can actually find plutonium out in the desert uh, in the experimental branch. And apparently the worms, you know, the, the graboids are disabled. But, you know, and that's fine and good, but there's also there's still a lot of other issues with experimental. Like, for example, the monsters can just come right through your walls. Your walls don't even protect you. Um, and, you know, other issues like that. So, I don't, I, you know, I'm, I could, I, I might go back over to experimental and try it now that we know where the plutonium is. But I, I don't know, guys. I have to think about it. I'm not, definitely not promising that one way or the other. So, we'll just have to kind of see how things go. Uh, but anyway, I think... Um, that's going to wrap it up for this episode here. Um, I don't think I'm going to land again unless I find, uh, unless we see diamonds. So just look for light blue dots. But I mean, we've got so many diamonds. It's a nice, nice situation to be in for sure. But yeah, this pretty much is our last pass um, over Lutari, over the play field area. Then it just kind of goes out into no man's land. You know, um, I'm, I know the game's early access and all that but there is so much wasted space out here i hope that in the future they start making use of that and the same thing on proteus too man I, i've flown all the way to the edge of the sand area on proteus and it's just it's just wasted space so i really really hope uh, phoenix fire is planning on expanding these maps and making them larger because there's plenty of room to do it you know so anyway, guys, I think that's going to wrap up this episode. And like I said, I will see you in at least one more episode where we're going to we're going to make the final things that we haven't made yet. And then, um, you know, probably going to wrap up this series after that, unless, you know, something else happens. I, I need I basically I need a reason to keep going because, you know, and I, and I mentioned this too right at the very beginning on episode one, you know, that the game is um, not finished and, you know, that it probably won't be a really long series just because you know there's not a whole lot more left to do now that's not to say we didn't have fun because i really did i super enjoyed playing this game and i'm looking forward to coming back to it once they add more content to it but i mean you know there's only there's only two moons to go to besides proteus i've already been uh, you know scanned or swept i should say the surfaces of both um lutari is pretty cool and you know one thing you know that I had thought about doing was building building a base up there, but you know at this point why? <laughs> There's not really any reason to, other than just to do it for the hell of it. You know, which is I guess a good reason too. But I'm just not sure if I want to if I want to do it because I'm the kind of guy you know in most cases in most situations where if I'm going to build something, I I want to be able to use it. I want there to be a purpose for it, and you know. We can go build stuff up on. You can go build a base up on Lutari, and go mine up a bunch of minerals. But you know, then what? I mean, there's just not anything else to do. We're we're pretty much done. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go here, and I will see you in the next episode. And look at that, my uh, my dome is off again. Thank you, game. I like to turn my dome off for some reason. And anyway, yeah, we'll see you the next episode. We'll make the final vehicles, play around a little bit with the diamond-based uh, ammo, and then go from there. See you guys in a lot. Uh, whoops. <laughs> see you guys in the next episode. Bye.